Now, if you're anything like me, things got a little confusing when Apple replaced our system preferences with system settings. I've been a Mac user for a long time, and I'm used to system preferences. We had a time machine preference pane. Well, when they replaced it with system settings, starting in Mac OS Ventura, those preference panes are no longer there. You're not going to find a time machine preference pane. So how can you find that? How can you easily access those different preference panes in the new settings app? Well, that's what we're going to look at in this video. Let's first take a look at how we search our preference panes or our preferences or our settings, I should say. See, I'm still having a problem or struggling with the terminology. But let's first take a look at how we can search our settings. Then we'll see how we can quickly access them. Let's go over to my Mac. Now to access our system settings, our new system preferences, what we need to do is go up to our Apple menu and then we go over to our system settings. As I mentioned, we no longer have, we're going to pick on Time Machine, we no longer have a Time Machine preference pane. These would be the preference panes in system preferences. Well, if we look here, we don't have a Time Machine, so where is it? Well, if you are looking for something, all you have to do is just go up to Search here and type it in. So I'm going to type in Time Machine, and you're going to see it pulls it up here. I select it, and there's my Time Machine. But in addition to that, what we had with those system preferences, the preference pane, we had easy access to some of these tools. And what we were able to do is view them in alphabetical order. One of my pet peeves with the system settings here is, I wish this was in alphabetical order. Well, what we're able to do is view all of these different settings in alphabetical order. And we can do this one of two ways. When we have our system settings open, all we have to do is just go up under View here, and when we click on it, we can see all of our different settings here in alphabetical order. In addition to that, remember how I said we didn't have a Time Machine preference pane or preference or a setting? Well, look what we have here, Time Machine. And we can see that I have it open because it is checked. What about login items? Well, if we look here, you're going to see when I swipe up, I have my login items. This is not a setting over here in the sidebar here. So what we are able to do when our settings are open, our system settings are open, is we're able to view all of our different settings in alphabetical order. And in addition to that, we can view settings that are not in the sidebar. Now that works great if you have your system settings open. All we have to do is just go up under view and select what we're looking for or select the setting that we want. But in most cases, you probably don't have your system settings open. I don't have my system settings open by default. Well, there's another way of accessing these different settings in alphabetical order. We can do this through the dock. So when we look at my system settings here, or the settings in my dock, I do not have it open. We need to have system settings closed in order for this to work. And now when I click and hold on this or long click on it, you're going to see I have those same settings here. So now what I'm able to do is go to my time machine, select it, and from here what it's going to do is open up system settings and take me over to time machine. Now I mentioned that you do need to have system settings closed for this to work. If I go back over to my system settings here and click and hold, we can see we do not have that list. What we'll have to do is go back over to our view and then we can go and select what we want. But if we have system settings closed, we just click and hold, and now I'm able to quickly access a specific setting in here, even the ones that are not in the sidebar. So if you're an old Mac user such as myself and you're still confused with the system settings, what you are able to do is search them. We probably all knew that, but in addition to that, we can also quickly find a specific setting just by going to View, with system settings open. And if it's not open, we can also just long click or press and hold on the system settings in the dock, and then we can select our system setting that we're looking for from there. So that's how we can search our system settings as well as quickly access them on the Mac. 